and in today's video guys we're going to be looking at the piriformis stretch welcome to albion fitness movements like lunges and squats especially when done heavy can leave the hips groin and lower back very tight and this is where the piriformis stretch can be very useful the piriformis is nestled deep in the mid gluteal region and is part of the lateral rotator group whose primary function is to externally rotate the femur in this video we're going to look at two ways to execute the piriformis stretch thus giving you more functional mobility in the hips especially when going heavy in the lower body we are going to begin first from the seated position. Place your ankle on top of the opposite knee. Ideally, you would like the shins to be parallel to the ground, but if you're a little tight in the hips like I am, just do your best in that regard. There is often a tendency for the back to round, so straighten the back by lifting through the chest, bringing the shoulders down and back. With the shin in position and the back now straight, take a deep breath and exhale as you lean in from the waist. You should now feel a very powerful stretch in the piriformis. Hold the stretch as you slowly release the exhale and then slowly inhale back to the starting position. 5 to 10 repetitions of this stretch is a great start. The second execution is done from the supine position. You're lying on your back with the feet flat. While executing this movement, be sure to keep the chin tucked. If the chin juts out as being illustrated, you won't experience the stretch properly. So with the chin tucked from the supine position, we're going to proceed to cross the ankle at the knee. Once we've crossed the ankle across the knee, reach behind the knee and pull the knee towards you. Remember to keep your chin tucked as you execute this movement. Exhale as you pull the knee towards you, feeling the piriformis stretch. And guys, that's a wrap. And I hope that this stretch helps you as much as it has helped me. Guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be happy to address them. And um, if you found this video helpful at all, please consider subscribing and liking. And guys, I will see you in the next video.